hello you guys i hope you guys are having a great day so far if you are new to my channel then please subscribe and for the rest of you welcome back i am continuing my daily vlogs and i know it kind of doesn't look like i got ready for the day but i totally kind of did i just put on like a lounge shirt and some workout shorts and I definitely did not do anything with my face and not much with my hair <laughs> today. But I promise you that there was a little bit of an attempt to kind of look decent. I wanted to let you guys know just kind of how I was feeling because yesterday I had my biopsy on my back. And it was a biopsy for this rash that I've had on my back and they seem pretty concerned about it. I did not know I was going to be getting that biopsy done. And yesterday, I mean, I totally felt fine. The area was numb and I just didn't think like too much about it. And then once I kind of let people know that I did have this biopsy done, like so many people have been like reaching out to me with like, oh my goodnesses, like, are you okay? I hope it's not cancer and stuff like that. And honestly, like, cancer didn't even cross my mind at all. And then, of course, I went on Google, which you should never do <laughs> with, like, any medical situation if, like, you have a little bit of concern because, of course, the negatives are going to pop out. But I guess that is kind of, like, reality that when they do biopsy and they do test for cancer and stuff like that, I know my doctor is trying to see if there's some type of systemic issue um, that's causing this. And there is a possibility of cancer, of course, but I am just not worried about that. And I will, um, of course, update you guys with the biopsy results. I should have asked how long it was gonna take to get results back but um i didn't but i think it'll be like a week to get results back and yeah i mean i always go with the flow with things whether it's good or bad situations and i try to remain positive and hopeful regardless today to be honest was a crappy day i did not sleep very well last night because it was uncomfortable i either sleep on my back or sleep on my left side, which happens to be more towards where the biopsy was done. So I was very uncomfortable and cautious about that because I don't want to risk any irritation or any type of infection. Olivia and Cora, you could probably hear them in the background. They're playing in, <laughs> in their bedroom right now, probably making just a ginormous mess that I'll have to go and <laughs> clean up once I'm done with this video. But, that's what's going on in our household today today yeah like i said i've just been feeling like crap i always just don't like the days where i'm just not as productive as i want to be i woke up this morning and i was like oh maybe i could do like a workout today and get tons of homework done and just do a lot more than i had planned i wanted to do some laundry before we left for the weekend to go to the wedding and I just wanted to prepare so much and today my body was just not having it and I have just been so tired I attempted to even take a nap with the girls when they were napping but I just I couldn't do so because my mind was just kind of racing and so that was unfortunate because I do need to relax and so I just kind of did some light stretching this morning. Um, Got to stay mobile and I went outside with the girls for a little bit. And I I want to eat more, but I'm not really eating more. Like for breakfast, I had like a half a cup of oatmeal. And then before like a little meal, I had like rice and beans and spinach. And then... Um, literally for like a snack all my stomach would tolerate was um like a spoonful of like almond butter i know it's weird and then just i felt just like so exhausted i still do but i feel a little bit better and i think it's because i took like this turmeric boost powder and i just mixed it with almond milk and i drank that and that usually helps like bring like any inflammation down 
and it gives me some energy so I can be um, as productive as I need to be, especially when it comes to taking care of the girls and getting dinner dinner ready, Ugh. dinner ready, and stuff like that. But yeah, Robbie actually changed the bandage on this thing today. It kind of looks gruesome. I took the bandage off and I literally just have a hole in my back. Like, there, it's just so weird to look at. There's just nothing in there, it's just a hole. And I'm really worried about the scar it's gonna leave. Cause I was self-conscious about my, my back before with the rash and everything. But now I'm gonna have like this like gaping scar in the back and so that is something that I'm, I'm worried about. I think I'm just gonna try putting like coconut oil and bile oil on it eventually. That's what I did with my um, stretch marks when I was pregnant with the girls and that seemed to diminish them and so I'm hoping that'll help with this but Robbie um, got some gauze and some like medical tape yesterday from the store and he bandaged this up you guys can't really see it that much I'll have to show you guys another view and um, it started coming undone so I had to add like even more tape so now it's bad because the tape comes all the way out here and then this side I literally just put a band-aid to hold it there because it kept coming up so I definitely need to keep it completely like covered so nothing gets on it and I'm worried about just what to do because the wedding's Saturday but I guess I can I can put my hair down and people won't really see it I already let my cousin know that this was going on and she just said whatever I'm comfortable with she's totally fine with which is awesome and they said I'm not allowed to like get this wet at all either at least for like a week and so I was having like the hardest time today trying to take I don't know I guess I kind of took like a bath because it was just like from here down and then I just used dry shampoo on my hair and then just washed my face so that'll be interesting trying to get ready for the weekend and just like every day until this is healed i just need to figure out a system that really works for me so i don't walk around looking all grungy all the time my face is just a mess you guys like i never get like acne or anything but this is just like so weird to me like this is all new and my eyes are, are horrible and puffy and it's just a rough life for me right now but I'll get through it. I got some new face stuff like you guys know from Sephora. So I'm hoping that I'll start to work <laughs> sooner than later. That would be nice. Tonight I'm doing something just super quick for dinner. We get like these chicken teriyaki um, little meals from Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to pop those in the oven and just make some brown rice. And then bake some vegetables. And then that will be it for dinner tonight um it'll be like a nice like 15 minute dinner instead of me slaving over the stove for like an hour because honestly all i want to do today is go to bed and go to sleep and have it be have it be excuse me guys have it be tomorrow because i know that each new day will bring something new and good for us and if you know me, you guys know that I just really like to be productive every single day. Especially when, like, I started from the bottom and now I'm trying to really get to the top of my life. Like, I started from, like, the bottom bottom, like, below the bottom. And I'm really trying to work myself up in life because my kids deserve the best. And I just want to live a normal life, pretty much. And so I feel like I'm not doing my job and stuff when I'm just like confined to a bed or not feeling well because um, I guess I just want like greatness so bad and I'm just like so eager and I'm excited each day that I do get to be productive whether it be writing in my book or finishing like a homework assignment or being able to go outside on a run just being productive in some way and so it's just a little bit frustrating and sometimes discouraging when um 
I don't get to do as much as I really wanted to do. But I still know things, good things are going to come our way. It's just all about being patient, positive, and um, yeah, always hold on to lots of hope. And that's what I'm doing. I got this online program um, today. And so I'm able to actually message my doctor online now. And so I sent her a message because I have an appointment on the 1st. And I really just want to let her know what's going on with my stomach because when I went in for the doctors last time I saw her, I was like 150 pounds. Yesterday, I was like 106 pounds. So I want to let her know I'm not eating as much. I just don't really feel well. And like I'm like nauseous almost immediately after eating. And just it takes a lot out of me. So I wanted to message her. And then I forgot to mention yesterday, which is like such a big deal because that's what I've been talking about, is this lump on my head. I mentioned it to the dermatologist and he really wants my primary care doctor to take a look at that and then I can get like a referral from my primary care doctor um, to have that looked at just to see like what the heck that is. And so I'll let you guys know um, an update on that. That'll be on the first. But yeah, I wanted to come on here and give you guys um, today's update. And if you guys are enjoying these daily vlogs, then go ahead and like this video. I really enjoy seeing the communication that we are all having and listening to your guys' feedback and just having like such a positive community. I really do love you guys and appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel and for sharing my videos. And those of you that follow me on social media, you guys are awesome and you guys always make me feel like I have someone in my corner and I'm never going through this crap alone. So yeah, thanks guys. I really appreciate it. I will be talking to you guys tomorrow and I hope you guys have a restful rest of your day. Bye!